All right, guys, what's going on? Bringing you another video about Ranger School. Imagine that, Gritty Soldier on YouTube talking about Ranger School. But you guys know I'm all about motivating you, giving you as much information as possible to, to help you along your way to get your tabs. And dudes, check it out. This is totally coincidental, I swear to God, okay? I'm not lying. I just came out here. I'm, I'm out in uh, around Schofield Barracks, Hawaii right now, okay? I'm not on the post, or at least I didn't think I was. I just found a trail near it that I thought hopefully would be good enough to help make this video. I actually parked in a residential area right in front of somebody's house, you know, like you normally do out here in Hawaii. Walked along a trail for maybe five minutes. And I was walking along that trail and I looked to my right and out of the brush I could see what looked to be an obstacle course. So I came out of the brush there, over there, a couple porta potties. Came up beside the uh, the front here to the Lightning Academy. There's some dudes right there driving by. And how coincidental is this that I come up to what seems to be <laughs> the 25th Infantry Division, maybe pre-Ranger? I don't know, it's at least Lightning Academy. So they got Ranger Tab and they got the Air Assault. So I don't know, they're at least, they got some you know stuff over here that you can use for, for both purposes. So maybe there's a pre-Ranger over here, like an Air Assault school. I don't know, but I thought that was uh, super coincidental. If you guys are have ever been stationed in Hawaii, uh, in Schofield, or if you're there currently and you know where I am right now, <laughs> I assume it's the Lightning Academy or, or maybe the front entrance or something. I'm not really sure. Let me know, man. Drop it in the comments. Super coincidental, man. Swear to God. Makes you kind of wonder where I should have parked. You know what I mean? I'll have to scout that out when I leave. But check it out, guys. I wanted to use this opportunity while we're out here getting some miles under the feet to talk to you about the five reasons, the five reasons I can think of why you should absolutely be going to ranger school. Now, I don't work for ranger school or anything like that. This isn't some sort of pitch to get you to go. It's nothing like that. It's just that I know that there is a lot of reasons not to go to ranger school, right? And usually um, it's easier to find the path of least resistance or to not do something than it is to figure out a way to actually break through the resistance and go for it and actually do something. And that is especially true when you're talking about going to ranger school. You know, it's hard enough just to get ready to go to ranger school. You know, you, you, gotta, you gotta be physically prepared. That takes a lot of work. You have to fit it into your timeline, into your schedule. You have to make sure that your family's on board. You have to make sure your financials are squared away. You gotta shave your head. You know, you gotta get your packing list squared away, buy all the things you're gonna need for your packing list. There's a whole bunch of things that are already difficult to do before you even set foot on day one at Ranger School. And you know, there's a lot of guys out there and gals, right, that will give you a whole bunch of reasons why you shouldn't go. You know, you don't need it for your, for your job, for your MOS. You're gonna be sacrificing your body over the long term. You know, they say things like, oh, don't go to ranger school. It's gonna destroy your knees and you're gonna be, you're gonna be regretting it when you're 40 or whatever. You know what I mean, whatever people say. Typically that kind of attitude comes from people that don't have their tabs, okay? Just let that sink in for a second. But I wanted to make this video to give you guys proper focus, you know what I mean? Give you five solid reasons why you absolutely should be going to ranger school so that you can keep them in the back of your mind at any time that you need to withdraw them when you're feeling deterred or any sort of negative feelings towards your journey of eventually going to the school and getting that tab, right? It's hard to stay focused sometimes. Like I said, it's easier to focus on the negatives or the reasons why you shouldn't do something than it is to focus on the reasons why you should do something, okay? All right, number one, all right? It is extremely good for your career to go to ranger school and actually get that tab. I don't mean that in a way where if you have a tab, then you're better than everybody else, or you automatically get promoted, or you should be able to do whatever you want with your career just because you have a tab. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, if you were getting boarded, for example, um, and there was, you know, it came between you and somebody else, whether to get a promotion or go to a school on an OML or something like that, that person didn't have a ranger tab, most likely it's gonna be you that gets chosen. That's just facts. The same is gonna go for choices with leadership positions. Anytime somebody's looking for a leader among the group to put in charge of, speci of a specific task or a specific um, team or something like that, typically it's gonna be the person with the ranger tab that's gonna be looked at first. And you infantry guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not infantry, it's only amplified that much more. Now I wanna also make it very clear that I'm not saying that once you earn your ranger tab, then your career is just handed to you on a silver platter. That's absolutely not the case, but you do come off as a very well qualified individual when leadership is in consideration to anything that goes into the future of your career. 
Marine School is absolutely a leadership school. And if you're able to actually go there and earn that tab, that has, speaks volumes about you and your potential for leadership. And it's well known that once you earn the tab, you have to represent the tab accordingly. You know, having a Ranger tab is a top tier credential um, in the Army and the military in general. And if you're able to go out there and earn it, then you should deserve the perks that come along with it. Just saying. All right, quick pause X. Looks like I found the jungle school. That's pretty cool, right? So yeah, I guess this is all like the Lightning Academy, the grounds of the Lightning Academy, which is good to know. I wouldn't mind going to jungle school. If any of you been to jungle school, let me know. What's it like? All right, taking number one and using it as a segue, using a lot of buzzwords right now, right? Using that as a segue to move into number two, and that is that it gives you a large amount of leadership skills. You'll hear a lot of people question whether or not Ranger School is a leadership school. And I don't really know why that's a question. It is absolutely, without a doubt, a leadership school. That's really, that's all it is. Now, there are, there are things that you will be tested on as an individual in, in Ranger School, don't get me wrong. But the main point of Ranger School, you know, on the last day of the school itself, is to produce good leaders. And Ranger School uses the old crawl, walk, run methodology um, to get you from being a good follower to a good leader by the time Swamp Phase is over. And I would even say, you know, after after rap week is done, all that individual stuff is over. That's really the only time you're getting tested as an individual. After rap week, it's all about teamwork and leadership. And in my opinion, with all the things I've ever been through, um, I think teamwork and leadership, they obviously go hand in hand, right? You can't have one without the other. You know, I've been to a lot of schools and I've been in a lot of situations where my leadership was tested and I've grown from each and every one of them. However, I would say the most at least one of the most impactful experiences that has uh, helped me grow as a leader so far has been Ranger School. And I didn't even go right in the beginning of my career. I went like after 10 years of already being in the army and already being tested with multiple other things. So I can tell you with somebody that already had at the time a lot of experience in the army, experience with leadership, both on the enlisted side and the officer side, I could tell you, um, Ranger School will absolutely make you a better leader. You'll be forced to perform as a leader. You'll be graded. The only way you pass is, it, is if you're able to perform well as a leader under some of the most harsh conditions. It's not actual combat, you know, obviously, but I'll tell you the way they run the school, they replicate it very well. And they make it so that you can barely even think straight, but you still have to make critical leadership decisions. And through that process, really, you learn. It's like trial by fire how to manage your team, how to lead your team, how to motivate your team, to get them to do things that nobody wants to do. You know, you might have heard this saying before, but Ranger School is like the epitome of herding cats into the washing machine. It's just a constant challenge of getting your team to accomplish the mission under some of the worst circumstances, under the worst conditions, and nobody wants to do it. But somehow you gotta get it done, and that's where your leadership shines, and that's where you grow, and those are some of the leadership lessons that you'll learn um, throughout your time at Ranger School, and by the time you're done, you'll be able to take those lessons with you and be able to perform in the same way when you're being tested in training environments, garrison, and especially in combat environments. That's what makes Ranger School a leadership school, without a doubt. So if you're looking up your leadership skills, I, I wouldn't point you anywhere else first. I would say the first stop is Ranger School. All right, number three, an increased proficiency and competence in TLPs and tactics. Now, by no means am I saying that you're gonna come out out of Ranger School as some sort of a tactics expert or operator status or anything like that, because that's definitely not the case. But without a doubt, you'll definitely learn the ins and outs of uh, basic TLPs you'll learn everything there know, is to know about how to set up a raid or an ambush. Like you'll have that down for the rest of your life. You'll learn about small unit tactics, how to manage small teams in combat. Not only when it comes to combat proficiency, but you'll also learn about logistics, sustainment, you know, all the transportation that goes involved with planning a mission, planning itself. You will become extremely proficient in those basic TLPs. You will go through the TLP process so many times, and even more times if you end up recycling, that it's just gonna be second nature to you by the time you go back to your unit. Which is not only great for you, but it creates an asset for your unit 
that they can use when it comes to doing these things. So that's especially applicable to combat units, obviously, but it's gonna be just as applicable to support units or anybody else that's in the military, really, because TLPs, I mean, that's like the foundation of, of what goes on when it comes to actually executing operations. And if you are at the tactical level, the more prepared and more proficient you are with executing tactics um, and TLPs, for that matter, uh, the better that you are gonna be and the better your unit's gonna be. I know a lot of you watching this right now are not necessarily infantry or maybe not even combat arms, but learning and becoming proficient with tactics and TLPs will absolutely make you a better soldier, regardless of what your job is. Because it expands your mind on how to organize and implement systems and how to use those systems to accomplish the end goal, to accomplish the mission. And again, that can apply to anything we do. All right, number four, it is a challenge worth doing. You know, there's plenty of things in the military or in life in general that you might consider a challenge. And I think you should always be trying to challenge yourself because that's where you find growth. That's where you become better. Even if it's something you have no experience with whatsoever, um, or even if it's something where, you know, more than likely you might fail at, it's always worth going in head first, putting yourself, you know, going through the fire um, just so that you can grow and learn from the experience. Even if you do fail, it's still worth trying. Never let the fear of failure stop you from trying anything. Ranger School is one of those top tier challenges in life. You know, Ranger School is very well known as being the hardest training that the military has to offer. And I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it's definitely up there. It's got to be at least in the top, you know, five at least. And there isn't like a large population of people on this planet that can say that they've completed Ranger School. And it's because you already have to be within that 1% that have joined the US Army in the first place. Then you have to be fortunate enough to actually find your way or you know get a slot for Ranger School itself. Then you have to be motivated enough and dedicated enough, disciplined enough to actually show up and actually get through the school without failing. And after all that's said and done, you can finally put on that little piece of cloth and wear that Ranger tab. It's not an easy thing to do. It's extremely challenging. But like I said, that's a good thing. That means you should absolutely be striving to go after it. If you're watching this video right now, it means you're looking for reasons to go. You want to know, man, I, what are the reasons I should be going to range school? Because I really feel like I want to go. That in and of itself is enough reason to try and get to that school and, and make it happen. Just to see if you actually have what it takes to get through the school and earn the tab. You would be surprised what you're actually capable of and you should never be selling yourself short. But you might find yourself down at Ranger School and realize, wow, this is what I was so worked up about. This is totally doable. I can, I can do this. And imagine once you actually get through the school with that feeling, that feeling of confidence, you're gonna be able to take on even more challenges and be more confident in it by the time you're done. And that'll lead me to my fifth and final reason why I absolutely think you should be going to Ranger School. And that is that it's going to help you gain confidence in life forever. You will be tried and tested to the extreme at Ranger School, without a doubt. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if guys, I'm sure there's gonna be somebody down in the comments that said, Ranger School was easy. This guy's full of shit. I'm not full of shit. Ranger School's hard, period. It takes a massive amount of dedication and grit to get through that school, not only physically, but mentally as well. And it really does genuinely challenge the full spectrum of a soldier, all right, or as a, as a person. You know, it challenges you physically, challenges you mentally, and it challenges how well you can work as a member of a team or a leader of that team. But most of all, it pushes you past that point where you thought was your limit, that point where you thought that's as far as you could go. It forces you to go past that point, and you'll do it multiple times, continuously. But because that forcing function has been put into place in the school, you will learn that your your capability to go further, faster, harder grows every day and it's more of a mental hold back than anything else that you place on yourself as an individual. You will learn inside yourself that you can absolutely go a lot further than you thought you could. And that right there is something that you can apply to anything in life. You can apply it to soldiering, you can apply it to fitness, you can apply it to business, you can apply it to family, spirituality, you can apply that to anything. In fact, I would say personally for me, that was the number one thing that I got out of Ranger School that I know I can always go a little farther, all right? I, I don't really know my limit yet. I just know 
that even when I'm feeling at my lowest, at my worst, when I just, all I wanna do is quit, I know inside myself that I can continue. I just have to suck that shit up and drive on and make it happen. Find that will inside myself, that drive to accomplish a mission, whatever my mission might be. And that might sound corny, but it's true, man. I'm telling you, you know, I've, I've grown tremendously as a person much faster since I've been to ranger school. And that is genuinely because I have learned that lesson without a doubt. And I was pushed through the flames so many times that I have it ingrained in my mind, in my soul even, that I could always go a little bit further. No matter how I'm feeling, what I think internally, I, I can always go further. And having that mental switch switch on in life is just, you can't place a value on that. I'll roll this one up with this. Don't think that ranger school is just something that soldiers should be doing to become better soldiers, all right? That school is gonna make you a better person. It's gonna make you a more capable person and a more confident person in life. A person that's gonna be able to go a lot further than those to their left and right. And you're gonna know that within yourself and anytime you come across challenges in the future in your life, you'll know that you can overcome that challenge. You won't be held back anymore. And for me, that's really what Ranger School is all about and why I encourage so many to go all the time because it just helps you, it makes your life better in the end, all right? So those are my five like top reasons why I think you should be going to Ranger School, guys. Again, I'm not like, you know, a salesperson. I'm not, I'm not working for Ranger School on the side or recruiting or anything like that. I'm, I'm just a guy that very much wants to encourage you to go because I know there's a lot of naysayers out there. I know there's a lot of reasons out there not to go that are just holding you back. And I don't think that they should be. And you might not be fortunate enough to have, you know, guys in your corner at your unit or wherever you are that are cheering you on and, and trying to help you get through this journey. And I know how that feels, trust me. <laughs> I know how that feels. But don't let that stop you. You know, I'm here, I'm in your corner and I'm cheering you on, I'm rooting you on, all right? I, I want you to go, I want you to be prepared, I want you to be successful. And most of all, I want you to experience the benefits of going through that school because they will absolutely help you to become a better soldier and a better person in life, without a doubt, without a doubt, guys, I'm telling you. So after watching this video, keep those five things in your hip pocket, latch on to one or two of them that really resonated with you and just pull them out anytime you're getting those discouraging thoughts or, or you have somebody, you know, in your, uh, in your mud room or at the office or in the motor pool that's just trying to talk you out of your feelings of wanting to go to ranger school. Don't listen to that shit. Focus on the positives because those are all that matter. Those are the reasons why you even thought about going to ranger school in the first place. So keep them close. Hold on to them. I hope you found this video useful. You know, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Drop it in the comments. If any of you guys have been to Ranger School or have advice to give or, or have experiences with naysayers, stuff like that, anything you want to drop down that you think will make it better for the community as a whole, please drop that in the comments. You know, these videos are really meant to help everybody that watches them. All right, so whatever you can do. Again, it's a team effort, guys. Team effort. I've got tons of other videos pertaining to Ranger School that could really provide some valuable insight for you and resources so make sure you check those out i'll put some right here and there'll be some in the description as well but besides that guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh, focus on my ruck now get some more miles in i don't have anything else for you i'll see you on the next one